نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم المرء مع من حبه وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم من رغب عن سنتي فليس مني صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم Dear respected guests, beloved students, and respected lama, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The love of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is something today which we as an ummah are lacking in greatly and have abandoned. While we see that our hearts are attached to those people, those people who most probably take the mockery of our religion, and those people who take the mockery of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Who are these people, my brothers? These are the celebrities, these are the gangsters, these are the rappers, these are the actors, these are the football players, my brothers. And you see that the Muslim youth today, you see that the Muslim youth today have taken these female celebrities, and the Muslim youth have taken these male celebrities, girls and boys alike, and they have created this sort of attraction, they have created this sort of inclination towards them, that they want to meet them, that they're dying to meet them. My brothers, this disease, this disease is not only amongst the youth, but it's also among the elders in within our community. There's an incident in which an individual loved football. He loved football to such an extent, and he loved, he loved one player in particular, and this player was Alan Shearer. His wife would say that this man will never miss a football match. This man will never miss the player who this player played for, he will never miss a football match. He will buy every single t-shirt, every single football t-shirt that this player played for, he will buy it. To such an extent that if he was watching football, if he was to watch football and the phone rang, or his wife disturbed him, he will get angry and he will tell her off. So, as normal, this man who was watching football one day, and suddenly he had a heart attack. He had, a, he had a heart attack, so wife, his wife called the ambulance and the ambulance came and they were taking him away. As he was taking him away, his wife said when he looked at his house, it was as if, it was as if, as if the last time he was going to see it, as if he's never going to come back anymore. So he got to the hospital and while was with the doctors, they said that he hasn't got that long to live. The doctors said he's only got a matter of hours, a few hours to live. So his whole family gathered around him and they said, Say la ilaha illallah, say la ilaha illallah. And at the time of his death, at the time of death, what was this man saying? This man was saying, I am Al Shira, I am Al Shira, I am Al Shira. And this is how he departed from this dunya. SubhanAllah, this is the love created for these people. These people, my brother, this is the love created for them. And the funny thing is, and the sad thing is, that these people don't even know our names. These people that don't even know that you and I as people exist. That if we were to die tomorrow, they, they wouldn't care, they wouldn't have a sight of your camera. But if you were to go to them and tell them, tell one of the celebrities, tell one of the football players that one of your fans died, they wouldn't care, my brothers. This is the sad reality that we create this sort of inclination, this sort of love for them. We talk about them two hours on end. We could talk about them forever. We could talk about them for so long that we dwell into their life so much that we not only do not have a professional career, but we also know about their private life. We also know about, about, about how many children they have. We also know about how many kids they have. We also know about what they're going to do next. We know all of this, but little yet do we know not we know nothing about Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My brothers, honestly think to yourself, how many of us here can say that I know about my Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? How many of us here can say that I've read the biography, biography of my Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? My brothers, these celebrities, what do we do to them? We idolize them so much. We idolize them so much that we have posters of them in our house. We want to walk like them, we want to talk like, we want to talk like them, and we want to dress like them. And what do we do? We turn away from the sunnah of our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And what did Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say? The, 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 the hadith that I mentioned earlier: "Man rabbi sunnati minni." Whoever turns away from my, from my sunnah is not from me. What does it mean from being from the from being from the ummah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Being from the ummah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is such that every 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 prophet every prophet that came made dua to Allah that can I be from the can I be from the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? And only one prophet God is granted Isa alaihi salam. This ummah is such that we will be the first to enter Jannah. Despite this, we wanna we wanna we wanna follow the sunnah of these celebrities and we wanna follow the sunnah of Abu. 
beloved Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Why? Because it goes it goes against the latest trend. It goes against the latest fashion. We don't want, as, as Bobby Yamin said, we don't want to we don't want to put our trousers above our ankles. Why? Because we want to wear the pathway down our backside like the gangsters do. We don't want our we don't want our hair to be the same length. Why? Because we want to style it like the celebrities do. We don't want to use them as what? The only that the Sunnah have. The Sunnah also has scientific scientific um. It was a scientific, scientific incentive, my brothers. When you use the miswak, your gums, your gums become strong. And in some narrations, it says that your eyesight increases as well. My brothers, this is just from following the sunnah of our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. My brothers, we need to wake up. We need to wake up and we need to taste the dose of reality. We need to wake up. We need to realize that he sallallahu alaihi wasallam dedicated his whole life for you and I. He sallallahu alaihi wasallam dedicated his whole life so that Islam reaches every corner of the earth. Yet we turn a blind eye to this. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bled for us. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we all know the story of Ta'if. When the, when, the, when, the, when the adults encouraged the youngsters to throw rocks at he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam until he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was covered in blood from head to toe. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam lost his uncle and two of his precious teeth. He sallallahu alayhi wa bore so many burdens for us that if you were to read how many burdens he bore for us, my brothers, you won't be able to you won't be able to imagine how much he went through for us. It will be beyond your imagination how much he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went for us, how many he did for us, how much he sacrificed for us. His whole entire life was dedicated towards you and I, yet we turn a blind eye towards this, yet we have, we have more love for this, we have more, more love for these non-believers. My prophet, my prophet, our prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was such a character. <laughs> that when Wahshi radiallahu an, who was responsible for the martyrdom of his beloved uncle Hamza radiallahu an, even after this, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa had it in his heart to forgive him. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is such a character that when he had the chance to see the destruction of the people of Ta'if, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam refused. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is such a man that Michael Hart, who wrote a book of the most influential people, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is number right, is right number one. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is such a man that any companion of the Allah ta'ala and who ajma'een would give their life for him without a second of a doubt. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is such a man that when the Charlie Hebdo, when Charlie Hebdo incident happened, you saw that people were turning towards Islam. Why were people turning towards Islam? Because they read about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because they knew who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They realized what kind of man he was. This is our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is such a man who spent his whole life thinking of you and I. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam his whole life saying, Ya Ummati, Ya Ummati. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was such a man that even in animal objects, well, in animal objects such as a tree, my brother, a tree which in the naked eye has no life. We see that a tree doesn't move, a tree doesn't talk. Even, even in animal objects have love for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. On one, um, a, a story which is narrated, come, uh, with, uh, the, the, the story with um, the, the, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to give the Jummah khutbah. And when he used to give the Jummah khutbah, he used to lean on the date palm trees. A professor of the used to lean on the date palm tree. So one day, a lady came up to him and she said, My I have a slave who's a carpenter and he can carpenter a pulpit for you if you want. The professor of Allah agreed. So the next Jummah, the lady came with a pulpit and the Prophet sallallahu descended in the pulpit and he was given the Jummah khutbah. And this hadith is tawattul mababa, meaning that, meaning that so many, uh, many Sahaba narrated this, narrated this narration, narrated this hadith. And as the Prophet was given the khutbah, the Sahab, the Sahab of Allah, they heard, they heard the tree crying. They heard the date palm tree crying. Why was it crying? Because the Prophet was in the name of it. And the, the, the Sahabis were saying, some, some Sahabi narrated that this, this tree was crying so much as if it was going to explode right there on the spot. This tree was, this tree was crying.